Hello and welcome to another video of Stable Diffusion by TechLatest.net. We discussed various features of Automatic 11.11 with demos. In this video we will see Stable Diffusion command line arguments. And how to use Tech Latest Stable Diffusion Virtual Machine Solution with this command line arguments. We discussed various options and settings in our earlier text to image video. And we'll see some new options in this video as well. We highly recommend to experiment with the parameters available in this web UI to gain a better understanding of their functionality. Apart from this functionality, we will also walk you through the most crucial command line arguments of stable diffusion. The command line arguments we are going to discuss here are part of the launch.py file which is invoked by webui.bat for Windows system and webui.sh for Linux system script. These scripts are available in the Stable Diffusion home directory. The script recognizes a series of command line switches that will change important global defaults, such as the directory for image outputs and the location of the model weight files. Data dir. The base path refers to the location where all user data is stored. It serves as the central directory for accessing and managing user data. This path is critical for ensuring efficient data retrieval and storage as it provides a unified and organized approach to accessing user data. Config. The path to the configuration argument is crucial as it defines the specifications for constructing the model. This argument serves as a blueprint for the model, defining its architecture, hyperparameters, and other critical elements. Without the appropriate configuration file, the model may not perform optimally or may not work at all. CKPT. The path to the checkpoint of the stable diffusion model is a crucial element for loading and utilizing the model effectively. When specified, this checkpoint is added to the list of available checkpoints, allowing the user to select and load the appropriate model checkpoint for their desired task, CKPT DIR. The path to the directory containing the stable diffusion checkpoints is a critical component of accessing and managing the available checkpoints for the model. This directory serves as the central location for storing and organizing the various checkpoints for the model, allowing for easy access and selection of the appropriate checkpoint for the desired task, LoRa DIR. In order to effectively utilize LoRa networks, it is essential to provide the correct path to the directory where these networks are stored, which can be accomplished by specifying the parameter, LoRa DIR, and assigning it the appropriate directory path. UI Settings File when configuring the user interface, it is important to specify the appropriate file name to be used for the UI settings, which can be achieved by setting the parameter UI settings file to the desired file name. Listen. Listen will launch Gradio with IP 0.0.0.0 which will make Gradio listen to other computers on the LAN. Then you can fire up the UI with the computer's IP 7860 or other port if you changed it in a browser on any computer on the LAN. Port. When launching Gradio with a specified server port, it is important to note that certain privileges may be required to access ports below 1024. In most cases, root or admin rights are necessary to use ports in this range, which can be limiting when selecting a port number for the Gradio server. However, it is possible to specify a different port number to use when launching the Gradio server which can help avoid conflicts with other services or applications that may be using the same port. API Launching a web user interface, UI, with an API can provide a user-friendly and intuitive way to interact with the API's features and functionality. By integrating the API with a web UI, users can access and utilize the API's capabilities through a graphical interface, making it easier to understand and use the API's features. Once the API is enabled, then you can access the API user interface available at http colon slash slash vmip slash docs if you are running stable diffusion on VM. The user interface lists all the available API along with their input and output and it also allows tracking of the APIs. We have separate video on enabling stable diffusion API. You can check it out for step by step guide. Links in the description. API Auth. Setting authentication for an API is a critical step in securing access to the API and ensuring that only authorized users can utilize its features. 
This can be accomplished by specifying a username and password in the appropriate format, such as username, password. Additionally, multiple sets of authentication credentials can be specified by using a comma delimited format, such as U1, P1, U2, P2, U3, P3. Here, I am using Tech Latest Stable Diffusion Virtual Machine Solution. To update the launch command with any of this command line arguments, we need to go to the sd per boot.shush file. It is located at this location. I am opening it with VI Editor. Now go to line number 22 and 23 and add the command line parameters to the lines starting with Python. Here, I will show you how to enable authentication for Stable Diffusion Web UI for that. I am providing appy auth parameter with values demo. Hello 123. Save your changes. Reboot the VM. Now navigate to browser and paste the public IP of the VM. Now you can see, Web UI is asking for login. This way you can apply various command line arguments for stable diffusion. That's all for this video. We discussed command line arguments and its use. We also saw how to use tech latest stable diffusion virtual machine solution with this command line arguments. TechLatest.net provides the stable diffusion with automatic 11.11 web interface offer in the form of a virtual machine solution on leading cloud platforms including Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, AWS and Microsoft Azure. To ensure you have the best learning experience and can follow the course content seamlessly, we highly recommend provisioning the pre-configured stable diffusion virtual machine solution available on these cloud marketplaces. Here's how to get started. Go to www.techlatest.net slash sd. Click the provided cloud provider marketplace link. Follow the on-screen instructions to launch the VM. To make the provisioning of VM easy for you, we have step-by-step -step guides, which shows all the steps in details. All the links are in the description. Thank you for watching.